Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, why do you do what you do? Why do you have the attitude that you have? Or, or why do you believe what you believe? You see, the Apostle Paul addresses motives, that, that reason behind why we do what we do. In, uh, early in the chapter of uh, chapter 1 of the book of Colossians, we're going to be walking through Colossians for the next uh, few weeks. And I wanted you to hear this because he's talking about motives to people who share our faith, who are believers, followers of Jesus Christ. And he says this, beginning in verse 3. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of truth, the gospel. See, Paul thanked God for the believers in Colossae, these Christians, and he praised them for their faith and their love. And he said that they have that faith and love because of the hope of heaven. He says they, they love differently, they live differently, they have a kind of faith that is different because they have this hope of heaven. Uh, and, and what is the hope of heaven? It's the, uh, the hope of eternal life. And, and if you are a follower of Jesus, if you actually believe that Jesus is the one and only Son of God and Savior of the world, and you believe that Jesus physically, literally died on the cross to pay for your sins, and that he was raised from the dead, and you've made a commitment to follow Jesus with your life, then the Apostle Paul wants you to be fueled by this hope. He wants this hope of heaven to be the driving force of your motives, of your attitude, and of your actions. And what he's saying is that the, the reality that your destiny is heaven should be that which fills you with hope. And that hope should impact your attitude that, that touches everything. For instance, you should show people kindness because of that hope. Because God has shown us kindness in Jesus Christ. You should be a person of forgiveness towards others, uh, even those who offend you the worst, because God has forgiven you through Jesus Christ. We should be people who love ridiculously. Why? Because God has loved us. Even when we rebelled against him, God loved us. That's why Jesus had the audacity to say, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. You see, we can only do that if we are filled with the hope of heaven. The understanding that, that you and I deserve hell, but because of Jesus' sacrifice, we receive heaven. And that nothing can change that once we're in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, once we know that we have eternal life, it should impact every aspect of our lives. It should impact our faith. It should impact our courage. It should impact our fearlessness, even when we're facing death. Because we know, no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what the politics of the world are, no matter our financial situation, no matter our health, if you really, truly believe in Jesus as Savior and Lord, then the best is yet to come for you. Today, I hope and pray that that fills you with hope. Have a great day, Calvary, and God bless.